Today I'm working on a 2020 Yamaha Raptor 90 again. Uh, I bought this ATV used for my kids and it's due for its valve clearance adjustment. I went online to see if I could find a video or a write-up or even a service manual, even the valve clearance check and I couldn't find, or the valve clearance spec and I couldn't find anything. So I thought I'd make a video. I've already started the job. So let me take a little bit of video to show you what I've done so far. So the first thing I did is I pulled the spark plug cap, which is this one. And it was right here. So you just pull that off. And then you remove the three eight millimeter bolts that hold this cover in place. And you notice that the one in the middle is a pretty long bolt that goes all the way through. Uh, once you remove that bolt, then you can remove the cover on the other side. Uh, you're just going to pull it off. You can see it hanging back there. Um, and then the valves are actually on top here and on the bottom here. So you'll need to remove those caps as well. Let me go around the other side to show you. Once you pull the three bolts from the right side, you can pull this cover off. And as you can see, the gasket ripped. So be ready to replace those. I should have ordered both gaskets for this cap and the one on the other side. They're just paper gaskets and they both ripped when I when I pulled the covers off. So now we're gonna line up the timing mark. Okay, I've got my uh, cam chain or my overhead cam set at top dead center. The way I got it at top dead center was I took the cover off of the uh, clutch and now i could just turn this the clutch the engine the, the engine side of the clutch by hand until that little dot on the camshaft is lined up with the mark on the head uh, once those two are lined up you should be at top dead center and now you can check your valve clearances so again to check the valve clearances we remove that cover and I'm gonna check the valve clearances under those valves. Let me see if I can do that. And uh, the valve clearances, again, I couldn't find uh, what the clearances are and it's actually under the seat on that white sticker. You can see that it says, uh, it's, got some, it's got some measurements uh, for both the intake and the exhaust valve. So the intake is 0.06 to 0.09 millimeters and the exhaust is 0.06 to 0.09 as well so that's what we're going to be looking for as far as clearances so let me check the intake and the exhaust valve clearances with the feeler gauge again intake is on the top and the exhaust uh, should be on the bottom so let me use my feeler gauge to get those clearances and I'll take more video okay I thought I was about to wrap this up but I actually I'm about to redo it I used the wrong unit it's 0.06 to 0.09 millimeters not inches so 0.06 to 0.09 millimeters on both the inlet intake and exhaust so keep that in mind uh, that's really really small gap uh, I only have one set of feeler gauges that goes down to that low. So I'm going to redo it because I had, I was using inches doing 0.006 to 0.009, which is wrong. 0.06 to 0.09 millimeters. All right. So uh, I think that should be the end of it. I'm going to redo it, adjust it, and then call it done.